Hey, what is up guys? Pine Belt Beer Reviews back here again with you today for another one. And this one that I have here today is one that I would not have found if it wasn't for um, a friend of mine going on a trip to Florida and uh, bringing some of these back. And he gave me one to try it out. Uh, it is uh, Dogfish Heads um, Sequench Ale. Where's the label? There it is. Uh, Sequench Ale, uh, Session Sour. Um, it is a blend of three different uh, Germanic styles, uh, a Berliner Weisse, a Kolsch, and a, um, a Gosa. Uh, so, uh, that's interesting, it is, is brewed with uh, lime juice, lime peel, black limes, and sea salt. I'm not really sure what black limes are, if someone wants to educate me in the uh, comments, I've never heard of black limes. Uh, but it is, uh, what was it, 4.9% ABV, so it's sessionable, yeah, it's, it's not, like, whenever, whenever I think about a session ale, I think something that's more 4.2, you know, somewhere along those, along those lines, but, um, anyway, I've had the can out for a little bit, it's starting to get really sweaty, uh, let's go ahead and crack it open, gets a 86, an 86 on Beer Advocate, which is a very good score, uh, I believe the Brewers give it an 85. It's a 3.79 on untapped, so that's a fairly generous uh, untapped score. Uh, I've never had it before. I've never had a dogfish head uh, beer before, actually. So, um, anyway, that uh, that should be pretty interesting. I've never had uh, one from dogfish head, period. So, looking forward to it. It's kind of a weird angle to get to, to get the into dogfish head with. Uh, being this sort of strange uh, brew, but as far as I can tell, most of their brews are fairly, uh, you know, off kilter type of type of styles. Uh, this gets about three fingers of really basically soapy white head. Um, looks like any type of beer that you would expect. Uh, has like a sort of hazy gold appearance. Looks a bit like a Kolsch actually, in appearance with that sort of just uh, you know overall kind of general haziness. Um, lots of little small bubbles streaming up from this uh, regular pint glass. Uh, the head looks like it's probably going to be a bit slippery, so it'll probably just dissipate as we drink this. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and go for the aroma on this one. So it smells like Kolsch, smells like a Berliner Weisse, smells like a Goza, kind of just smells like basically all of those uh, combined, which that's exactly what this is. Um, you know, hints of lemon. Almost sort of a um, yeasty kind of wheat type smell to it. This is supposed to be, I guess I should say this. This is supposed to be uh, one of the the most uh, you know one of the most thirst quenching uh, beers. Uh, I think uh, there's some magazine that called it that. Uh, I believe it's just uh, my, when my friend was talking about it, he was saying this is kind of like a beer that uh, prevents dehydration. I was curious about that. Why why you know, what that, what that was about. So it turns out it's just the flavors, the limes and, um, you know, a bit of the saltiness and a bit of all that to really kind of make for a very thirst quenching type of beer. Uh, you know, I guess think of it like kind of like a, a citrusy sports drink or something like that, I suppose. Uh, but my mouth is pretty dry. So let's go ahead and go for the flavor on this and uh, see what it does. Very tart, very limey. Um, definitely just tastes like Kolsch, which is already kind of you know has a bit of a tartness to it already. And you just kind of put some fresh, um, squeeze some fresh lime juice into it. Uh, I I actually it, it almost kind of taste. I mean, yeah, that's what it tastes like. It tastes like uh, you squeeze some lime into it into. Uh, you know, a red stripe or squeeze some squeeze some lime into, you know, um, like a Dos Equis or something like that. It kind of tastes like the type of beer you would get at like uh, a Mexican restaurant when you were a Tecate or any one of those um, uh, Mexican import beers and they usually serve it with a little uh, lime either alongside the, the, the rim of the, um, you know, frosted mug or in the bottle itself. If it's a cocktail, this thing's very carbonated too, so I'm trying to hold in all the, hold in all the bubbles. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's got that just really big taste of lime juice. Well, 
Well, like an, almost enough to make me pucker. You know, make make my mouth want to kind of shrivel up a little bit. Um, I, and and with the, again with the black limes, that's in, I've never heard of black limes before. Uh, other than that, though, it does have a bit of a yeasty kind of flavor too. A bit of a you know, um, wheat, definitely a lot of wheat sort of flavor in this. I'm getting, I don't know if there's any wheat in this or not, um, actually, but, um, getting that with, 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 um, this flavor for sure. But man, really it is just all about that, that uh, it seems like the two styles that are emphasized the most are the, uh, Gosa and the, the Berliner Weisse, which is also a fairly citrusy, tangy, uh, Germanic style ale. Finish is pretty wet. The lime kind of flavor is starting to sort of subside a bit. It was a, just that first couple of um, first couple of swigs on this that really sort of, you know, got got me on my palate a bit. Uh, but um, mostly getting salty, mostly getting lime. I mean, like if you were to do like you could you could probably make some sort of beer cocktail with this with some tequila or something, and it would you would just be set. You know. Uh, the uh, mouthfeel itself is kind of medium light, more towards light uh, than the medium side. And like I said, it's very it's very carbonated as well, very foamy. Uh, but in terms of being a thirst thirst quenching beer, uh, that is a lot of lime flavor in that. I mean, this is basically like a lime a lime session ale. Um, I love lime juice though, uh, so it's. You know, if I wanted to be out by the pool, and man, like, you know, if you get just really a lot of sun out by the pool or a lot of sun out on the beach or something like that, if you had, you know, a little six-pack or something of these for the day, um, you would be set uh, in terms of just, yeah, um, getting a lot of that just that quenching citrus sort of those flavors. Um, I would definitely want to drink some water and stuff like that alongside this, but uh, after a while. Um, but uh uh, it really uh, does have a nice, refreshing quality to it. Um, fortunately, I can't get it here. We don't get Dogfish Head in Mississippi, um, at least not yet. Our distribution laws are are changing crazy fast, so uh, maybe we we can look forward to some more um, some more uh, brews from Dogfish Head soon. Uh, so if you uh, do want to try it out, I definitely recommend it. If you can find it, it's in this little sea green can, uh, the Sea Quench Ale Session Sour. From Dogfish Head, uh, so yeah, with this one um, for the style A minus, it is really great. Uh, I, I would definitely drink it again if I could find it, and if it was summertime, for sure. But uh, yeah, A minus on Dogfish Head sequential for me, guys. And until next time, thank you for watching.